could sound become a weapon. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. Human beings are surrounded by noises, vibrations, during every moment of our lives. We're designed for this cacophony. In an absence of noise, we often grow uncomfortable. In the world's quietest room, an anechoic chamber at Orfield Labs, it's so quiet that you can hear your organs at work. This disconcerting environment can produce hallucinations. The longest anyone has ever spent alone in this room is 45 minutes. Too much sound can hurt us, and too little can drive us mad. But has anyone ever tried to weaponize sound? Here's where it gets crazy. Weaponized sound already exists. A high-power sound wave can permanently damage human ears, and sound has also been used in psychological attacks. Sonic weapons have been used to prevent teenagers from loitering. These devices emit a 19 to 20 kilohertz blast that younger people find uncomfortable, while age-related hearing loss shields most others from the effects. Yet some of the most devious weapons may involve the sounds you don't consciously hear. In the 1960s, a French scientist named Vladimir Gavreau became fascinated with low-frequency sounds. In the modern day, his work is often cited as a turning point in infrasonics, the study of sounds with a frequency lower than 20 hertz. However, it seems that rumors have replaced facts when it comes to his experiments. There's no record of Gavreau being involved in secret government work or patenting sonic weapon applications. There are, however, documented non-auditory effects of infrasonic vibrations. As explained by pop size Seth Horowitz, victims can experience nausea, chest vibrations, problems breathing, and bone damage. Though researchers like Jurgen Altman believe the effects of sonic and infrasonic sounds on human beings have been exaggerated, the world's militaries have retained an interest in sonic weapons. Historically, these weapons have been intended for non-lethal purposes, such as riot control. The most well-known is a type called LRAD, or Long Range Acoustic Device. In 2005, the cruise ship Seaborne Spirit reportedly used an LRAD device to repel attacking pirates near the coast of Somalia. Today, most experts agree that the capabilities of sonic weapons are largely exaggerated. At present, these devices simply have too many drawbacks. At least, that's the official consensus. Yet research on sonic weapons continues in countries around the globe, from the United States to Russia and Israel. What are they working on specifically? For now, that appears to be something these countries don't want you to know. In the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Built at a cost of $14 million, the station embodies the last word in radio transmission and is a giant step forward in the Navy's network of communications.